Well, hello to all from Texas. This is Grandpa Hickory with another delicious homemade stew recipe. Now, this one's different, and uh, I wanted to bring it on and show you. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to add one can of mixed vegetables. You want to drain them real good and get all the moisture out of it. Then... You want to take one can of navy beans, and you drain these. Some people go ahead and rinse them off, but I don't. Uh, I like the flavor. Uh, they've got uh, just a wonderful flavor, and but I do get the uh, the juice out of there. I, I don't like that. It's like a sauce that they put in it, and I just do not like it. I, I never have really liked it, so that's what I do, and uh, that's just me. And now, of course, my favorite. This is uh, yellow squash with a dahlia onion. And now I keep the sauce in it, uh, the uh, liquid. And I pour all of this directly into my pot. I see it's got some zucchini in it, too. Huh. That's good. I like zucchini, too. But I was hoping it'd be straight yellow squash. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to add our garlic. It's minced garlic, and I love this stuff. I use a lot of this, as you can tell. And uh, after we do that, we are going to uh, add uh, our spices. Of uh, First, we're going to put our Iranian blue sea salt in. I always do this in all my stews. Uh, this is very delicious. I don't know if you've ever tried it or not. Uh, you just use a couple of pinches. You don't need a whole lot. And uh, this is really good. I, I really got into uh, Iranian blue salt. It just gives such a good flavor to your stew. And I just love it. And then of course I use pink Himalayan sea salt. And I'm going to put some of that in there. Okay. And then we're going to put some paprika in here. And you can put however much you want to put in it. It's your stew. Uh, you make it to taste. And uh, the more you make it, the more you'll, you'll get used to making it. And the variants that you can make. There's so many variants. You can add more spice or less. This is cumin. And this is real, real good for you. And I put my cumin in there. And now, we're going to add our granulated garlic powder. And I just, I love this. I really do. I love garlic. Because garlic is just so good. I, it gives such a wonderful taste to your stews. I put a lot of that in there. And after you do that, you want to go ahead and take your thyme. You take it, and you get you some of the pinches of that. And I'm going to kind of scrape some out like that. And you don't use a whole lot. You just use just a little bit, but because it goes a long way. A little bit goes a long, long way. Kind of like a bit of honey. Okay, and this is oregano leaves. Now, I love this. I love oregano leaves. I got I got into this from uh, the island of Crete. A lot of people there, they, uh, they use a lot of oregano leaves. And, of course, I use basil leaves also. I put some of that in there. And uh, after you do that, you want to take your Italian seasoning. I put this in every stew that I got. It is... It is so delicious. It gives such a wonderful flavor to your stew. And it uh, it's really good. Now this is onion powder. I put a little bit of onion powder in there. Not a whole lot. And now we're going to take our organic cardamom. And we're going to put some of that in there. Ooh, put a little bit too much. <laughs> That's okay, though. I love cardamom, but you don't want to overdo it. And now, what you're going to do now is I got a pepper grinder from Turkey. And uh, 
I'm going to take and add my pepper in here. And you can uh, season it to taste. It's just absolutely delicious. I like it very much. And then I'm going to add some soy sauce. Put a little bit of soy sauce in there. Okay. And we're going to add our Hmm. Hmm. Well, hang on one moment. I got to get my canned chicken. I forgot my canned chicken. Dreadfully sorry about that. I overlooked it like a dum dum. I uh, I thought I had it right here, but I didn't. I had uh, moved it, and uh, when I did, I didn't put it back. Have you ever done anything like that? I do things like that. Hey, I'm 72 years old, so you know. Anyway, I put the uh, liquid and all of that. I put it straight in there, and uh, I'm gonna put two cans. Of the canned chicken in here and I just I just love this canned chicken breast and I, I use the liquid of it and then after I have done that what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my purified water whoops and I'm gonna pour my purified water right in there and just kind of mix it in and uh, I'm gonna be letting that soak now you take your wooden spoon and just kind of work it in a little bit at a time. You don't do it a whole lot. You just work it in just a little bit like that. And after you've done that, you put your heat on extreme low. I've got electric uh, oven and I put it down below the low. I'm going to have to add some more of my purified water to it. Now you can add chicken broth to this if you want to. Uh, I don't. I just use my purified water. And it's extremely good. And that's what you want to do. And now after you make it, what you want to do is uh, you want to take your extra virgin olive oil after you get a bowl of this, then you add, I add a quarter cup of olive oil to a big ceramic bowl that I've got and uh, with my uh, stew in it. And that's what I do. I eat it like that. And then this whole pot here will last probably three days, sometimes uh, four. But it's extremely good for you. And uh, it's wonderful. It really is. It's wonderful. Now, also, I kind of got ahead of myself. You got to add your organic turmeric powder. This is very, very important. I use lots of turmeric in my stews. And uh, I like to put my, my purified water in. And then I put my turmeric in. And I use lots of turmeric. Turmeric is very anti-inflammatory. And it's extremely good for you. And that's what you do. And I'm going to let it sit like that until it kind of just lightly bubbles. And then I'll stir it in some more with my wooden spoon. Hey, listen, I want to thank you for stopping by. And I'm going to ask you to please uh, hit the like button. And I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I have more recipes. And uh, you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all on the next video. Goodbye from Texas. You have a wonderful day. And happy eating. Try this stew. You'll like it.